Welcome to Hushed Voices. I'm your host, Roshni Suparna Devakar. Hello, this is Hushed Voices, an exploration into lesser known stories from the Indian subcontinent. Today's story is a parable for children, published in a collection titled Folk Tales Retold by Children's Book Trust. The tale is called The Clever Calf. My friend Murkesh Krishnan contributed to the story. As earlier, I do not own the rights to the story and all copyright credit goes to CBT. Here is The Clever Calf. This is the story of a calf called Luthia. She was the prettiest little calf you could imagine, fawn-coloured, with great clear eyes. In fact, she had all the marks of a future Panch Kalyani cow. She had rings of white above her hooves. She had a white crescent mark on her forehead. Everybody liked her and her master was proud of her. The other farm animals loved Luthia and were very kind to her. This was just as well for she had lost her mother when she was only 12 days old. Dholi, the white cow, and Shama, the black one, adopted her as their own, feeding her with their own milk and licking her clean. The bullocks, Hira and Moti, and the big bull, Parbat, were all very kind to her, taking great care of her and guarding her with interest. With everybody so fond of her and no mother to correct her, Luthia became rather naughty. She was full of tricks. She bothered the bullocks when they were resting after a long day's work. She disturbed the cows in their sleep by licking their eyes or chewing their ears. Her favourite victim was the big bull Parbat. She made faces at him or pulled his tail or jumped over him when he was asleep. Parbat was as strong as a giant with a thick neck and red eyes. He got very cross with Luthia. But he was tied strongly in his altar and was helpless against the teasing Luthia. He could only make angry noises and dig the ground with his hooves while she stood a little way off and laughed at him. Still, Parbat really liked her and sometimes joined in her frolics. All the farm animals went out into the jungle every day to graze except for Luthia who was left at home all alone. It seemed to her that the others were having great fun in the jungle and she too wanted to go in and join. She went to her master and asked him to let her go out with the others and he agreed. So off she went into the jungle with them. In this jungle, there was a wily fox who said he was the advisor and the best friend of the king of the forest, who is, as you know, the lion. The fox pretended to represent the lion and wanted all other animals to treat him as king. If anybody showed disrespect, the fox bullied him and stopped him from grazing there. When any animal went to the forest for the first time, the fox expected the animal to go before him, bow down and pay homage. Since Ruthia was going to the jungle for the first time, the old cow Shama warned her about the fox. Shama told her that she should treat him like a real king and be very, very respectful. Is he really the king? asked Luthia. No, said Shama. He is only a fox and he is a great nuisance and a trouble for us all. We have to pay homage to him to stop him bothering us. Then I don't see a reason why I should treat him like a king, said Luthia, and I shall not. When they went into the jungle, Luthia saw the fox sitting on a mound of clay, pretending it was a throne. Luthia thought this was very funny and couldn't help laughing. Silence, shouted the fox. Don't you realize, you silly little creature, that you are in the court of a ruler? Stop laughing this instant. Come and touch my feet and apologize. Luthia pretended to be humble. I'm sorry, my lord. I didn't know you were so great. I thought you were an ordinary fox. Will you or will you not come and pay homage to the representative of the great king, the lion? Asked the fox. And do you know what Luthia said? She said, I don't think you look anything like a king. You're just a silly fox sitting on a mound of clay. At this, all the animals there started laughing and jeering at the fox. The fox was taken aback and was quite at loss to know what to do. He would have liked to jump at Luthia and attack her. But as she was with all the other bulls and cows, the fox thought he had better not. He went angrily away and swore to avenge this disgrace. The fox decided to wait for an opportunity to kill Luthia. But there was no chance as she was always with the stronger animals or in the farmyard. One night, he prowled around the farmyard looking for a way to get in to kill Luthia. 
but as there was a strong fence all around he could not get in luthia had seen him crouching outside and she thought she would tease him who is there she asked oh i think it is an old cat perhaps waiting for a rat the fox was very angry at this but there was nothing he could do having failed in his attempt to attack her the fox decided to kill luthia by cunning he decided to make friends with her and lure her out he stood outside the farmyard one day and called out luthia i admit you have won we don't do any good by quarreling let us make it up and be friends we could be good friends you and i how do i know i can trust you asked luthia how can anybody trust anybody else asked the fox we must show our love by trusting each other give me a little time to think this over said luthia the fox said that he would come back to know her decision and went away but clever luthia knew that the fox was only trying to find another way to attack her going to parbat the strong bull she said what a pity that such a strong friend as you can't help me against a little fox what can i do asked parbat the fox is light-footed and clever and would never come near me i think you're afraid of the fox said luthia trying to irritate him and i think the fox is more powerful than you no roared the bull no i'm not afraid just let him get near me and i will show you what i can do to him all right said luthia after thinking a minute i will get the fox near you but i hope you will not be frightened and run away no i won't run away i will tear him to pieces he said so when the fox came back the next night luthia said i think you really mean well now so let us be friends that is a sweet little luthia said the fox come out and have a chat no not so soon she said give me a little more time come tomorrow night and wait outside for me i will arrange for the gate to be kept open you just sit under that tree with your back to me and keep your eyes shut don't open them until i say wake up here comes your friend luthia if i see you peeping i shall take it as cheating and go back the fox agreed to do as she wanted and promised to come back the next night then luthia told parbat of her plan to get the fox to wait for her with his eyes closed the next night the fox came and sat under the tree waiting for luthia to come wake up here comes your friend luthia said luthia and the fox heard the sound of hooves approaching he thought he would soon have luthia at his mercy and was delighted but it was parbat who was coming behind him the fox heard heavy footsteps and sensing danger he looked around but too late parbat rushed forward and charged tossing the fox way way up into the air then he came down plunk he fell heavily and lay there a long time before daybreak he got up and limped away into the jungle but after some time he was ashamed even to stay in that jungle and left for a place far far away and all the animals rejoiced that the wily fox had been driven away from the jungle by the clever luthia i really enjoyed recording the story shout out to murkesh for playing the wily fox and the powerful parbat if you enjoyed it too please share and subscribe to the channel hushed voices is on youtube soundcloud facebook twitter and instagram details are in the description panel Thank you for listening to us.